Hello, welcome back to BS Live. We're gonna continue with our bone, spring bones um, experimentation. So I got this character, right, the other day. So I made it. So this guy have IK and also the spring bones being set up. And someone mentioned on Twitter, it looks like Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo, Pseudo Wudo or Pseudo Wudo. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like, it's kind of like what I'm doing here accidentally like a sausage but it looks like a tree and very interesting looking character but let's try to recreate this from scratch so if you want to do it really really quickly you can do it um from skin modifier so you start with a cube right you go to edit mode hit tab right click merge vertices at center and you just simply start extruding so you make this uh the body perhaps okay yeah, and just pull it up it's the antenna if you want to do this um more properly you probably want to use mirror modifier and you kind of make the arm like that so we're gonna make a simple one and the leg okay the currently i'm drawing yeah, slightly off but just continue Okay, he got a tail, but that's okay. That can be the middle part joint. And you probably want to make these characters standing up like that. So like I said, if you want to do this properly, do use the mirror modifier. So left and right is the same. But I'm just doing it very, very quickly. So I'm using skin modifier. And if you want to tweak this a little bit more, you enable this X-ray. Go back to edit mode and do some scaling and things like that. At some point, it's good to kind of spend a bit more time to refine your creations. Otherwise, it's a it's lack of um, <clears throat> it's lacking of love. You know, like you gotta make the uh, your work looks nice. Okay, but I'm um, yeah. I'm not gonna spend time now. Um, we're just gonna create armature, and from this armature, let's save this as rough pseudo pseudo wudo pseudo wudo. And so we have, we know we can already post this. Um, but since we all we have the spring bones thing already installed spring bones you simply just select the bones that you want to be spring to have some kind of spring dynamic something like that and then hit escape and then here just hold options enable bones enable rotations and then hit start this is the interactive mode so can you can start seeing this character animating so I couldn't seem I couldn't move the the root. Okay, actually this is the root. So that, so I cannot move it. Oh, oh, okay, it's rotating. Okay, I know, I know. The issue with this, of course, you are you want to go to edit mode and then clear parent on this guy. So select the the bones and then F three clear parent and now it's clear you can see this is becoming parent parent bones and you can move it freely okay start so i think this is kind of fun and cool for the leg of course you want to have proper ik um you could, however, for now, just select this and just enable bones and rotations, start and start animating this way. So it's like he's being hooked into something and you can start animating. I thought it's kind of fun. Um, what else we can do here? This guy is still a skin modifier, so you can still modify it what's underneath if you like you can add subdivision surface 
See, I have. I kind of find it kind of interesting. I don't know if you can make it. I think you can, but I like quite like this rubbery character. For now, it's just for fun. You can actually do the opposite if you like. Um, you build the bones first, and then you 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 build the skin in reverse. So if you have like an armature, and then you just go to edit mode, and then you create your whatever character. Um, let's say it's like a some kind of monster kaiju with a lot of arm, maybe tail even. Some kind maybe like maybe like a finger puppet even, um, and then you go to, and then you wanna turn this into skin modifier. Well, the quick way that I know is to use scratch of nose, and then this guy, like we already know, have armature props, so we can se select our armature. Uh, this is armature number two, right? This one, and you just use a simply list zip. So zip the head and the tail. This is the head and tail of every bones. And you can use UV connections. And you simply output the result. So the result will be edges data, I believe. So this is the the skin. So let's um, let's move this. Oops. Oops, oops. Still this guy's working. Even in object mode. Okay, he's not parented. Interesting. But we got this being generated using scratch jobs, which is kind of interesting so you remember this I'm gonna save it and then so this is exactly matching the, the edit edit pose so you select this and select this guy control P automatic wave and you enable skin modifier okay you probably um, it's up to you you can actually merge this before you do the skin modifier so cancel that cancel that because they are all currently a separate edges so we, we don't want that select the vertices merge vertices by distance and then now it's a single object all good skin modifier and select this control p automatic wave so this should in general okay wait they have to be in the same position so skin is applied so you go to origin this one go to origin did i move it or Maybe I not I need to zero this out first. Okay, and then zero this guy. Somehow this moves with it. Okay, alpha is under seems to be parented somehow. Move inside control to link shift to parent. Let's say I, I clear the parent so we have too many objects here don't worry to separate this this guy so we have this armature armature number two go to object mode it's a good idea to put the bones in front okay now we are back select this select this control P automatic weight now we should have the bone controlling our character okay and now let's do like what we have before select the bones and just like that hit escape go to our bones uh, spring bone option enable bone enable rotations and start the interactive mode and yep we should have our character moving if you still want to have more bones you can do that 
option rotations. So I, I really definitely love this add-on. Um, spring bones, very powerful. And you can really have a lot of fun with this. So now we have two characters. We kind of need to find a way to kind of move this character around. So they're not on top of each other. So that seems to work. This guy, yeah, it's, it works if I hold them together, so that's good. So, so now we just need to find a way to animate them separately. This doesn't work. Sometimes it does this somehow. So this is in object mode. This guy is in the object mode as well. Why is this moving and this one does not? Go to post mode. So this one is already started. Post mode. Start. So now you're you're moving. How about this guy? It could be a bug, but it's actually an interesting bug. So this one is already started as well. Okay, this guy. Um, need to be movable as well, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's could it could be a bug, but uh, if you have more than one character, you might find this issue. But if you have only one character, it shouldn't be a problem. They can move separately and maybe bake it. But for now, that's pretty much what I want to show you. It's basically how you can use skin modifier and the bones, spring bones, and you also can start from the bones and then turn it into skin modifier. And it, it, this can be a, an interesting character, even though it's basic, but it's fun to animate. Just like this character, it's really fun. It's very interesting looking. Uh, maybe I should study this character a little bit more. But there you go. Hope you find this interesting. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.